Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday morning. Welcome to week six of the Team Sean T, Team Tony Challenge. I'm sure you saw the scoreboard. Team Tony has opened up a bit of a lead over Team Sean T. They squeaked out a few more points last week and now have opened up a lead. But that lead is not insurmountable. We have in this challenge in the past, we have had huge four, five, six hundred point leads gone in a matter of days. So Team Sean T, don't think you're out of it. And Team Tony, don't get too cocky. We gotta keep moving forward. So last week, it was the wall squat for Parkinson's challenge. And obviously you guys know that that is very dear to my heart because my mother suffers from Parkinson's. I think most of you probably saw my Peloton for Parkinson's event that I did Friday where I rode my spin bike to, from five in the morning to seven o'clock at night. I rode 142.6 miles. Uh, it's actually still written over here on the mirror. A bunch of our fellow gym members came in and rode with me and they rode 297.4 miles, which was phenomenal and made it way more fun that I wasn't by myself. And as a group, along with the Peloton community on Facebook and you guys, we raised, we're not quite done yet, but we raised well over $6,000 for the Michael J. Fox Foundation in the matter of like three weeks. So I am beyond grateful for that. And a lot of you guys had a ton to do with that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And the Wall Squat for Parkinson's Challenge, you guys did outstanding. I loved personally seeing the, a lot of you work at schools, getting the kids involved and the other staff members, especially the kids, it's great to have them see you do something like that and, and tell them, hey, here's why we're doing it. And it's about Parkinson's and this is this disease and this is what it is. And we're doing it because of this. And to get them involved in an activity like that, I think is really cool. And to see, I mean, some of you guys have 50 people leaning against a wall. You know, not all the wall squats were perfect form. You know, those ones that were holding it for 10, 20 minutes probably weren't the best form, but who cares? Yeah, that's not what it's about. I, I didn't really care. I'd see them I'm like, you're more leaning than squatting, but that's okay. But who cares? It was about getting people active and, and telling them why we were being active and why we were squatting against the wall. And you guys did an outstanding job with it. And I'm super proud of, of all of you. So thank you so much for that. This week, this week, I want to talk to you about your fitness programs and your health and fitness lifestyle that we all work so hard to maintain. The goal of this challenge is not to just have you dial in and focused and working out and eating healthy for eight weeks. The goal of this challenge is for you, if you haven't been able to do so, for you after these eight weeks to keep this lifestyle moving forward and to stay active and fit and healthy moving forward and just develop the lifestyle of an active, healthy, fit person. To do that, you need to be constantly doing different things when it comes to your activities and your workouts. Back when I started working out, I did P90X, was kind of the really the first time I ever really got into fitness, and that was in 2007. Can you imagine if from 2007 to 2016, which I can't believe I'm gonna say this, is nine years ago, if in those nine years, I was always doing P90X. If I was always hearing Tony Horton's same joke. If I was always jumping up and touching my, hitting my knees to my palms for plyo. If I was always doing back and bicep. If I was always doing core synergistic. If every day was the same. Do you think I would have stuck with it this long? Do you think I would have gotten the results that I've had with my health and fitness? No, I would not. My body and your body needs to constantly be challenged and constantly have different things thrown at it if we're going to continue to improve. What will happen with a lot of people, and I see it mostly in people who run, and all they do is run, which I love running, love it, don't get me wrong. But people who all they do is run or they go out for jogs, they, they get to a certain level, they get to a certain point with their health and fitness and it stops and they plateau. And I have those people reach out to me a lot and they say, I can't lose this final 20 pounds, I can't lose this final 
use this final 15 or I'm just not quite as fit as I want to be. And I ask them what they do and they say, well, I run. What else do you do? I run. Or I go on the elliptical or I do, I'm like, change it up. Add, let's add this in. Let's add some weight training. Your body needs to constantly be challenged. If you're always doing the same thing, your body eventually adapts to what it is you're doing and it stops improving. So that's the first reason you need to shake it up. The second and almost more important reason you need to constantly shake up your health and fitness is because you're gonna get bored. If you're always just going out for a run, you're always just doing P90X or no offense to Sandy Dunn, you're always just doing a Shanti workout, the same one, you are gonna get bored. Even if Shanti is just great looking and just ripped to all get out, you're gonna get bored. And it's not gonna be exciting and, and fun for you to do. It's gonna become mundane. It's gonna become like brushing your teeth or taking a shower. There's not gonna be any excitement in it for you. And that's when you're gonna have a, that, those, that bigger chance of falling off, that thought of, I don't feel like it today because it's not fun for you. Of course you don't feel like it. That is a huge reason why you need to shake it up. And that is my challenge for you this week. Week six is the Shake It Up Challenge. And this one's very simple. I want you to choose a workout that you have not done in these first six weeks. Meaning if you've been doing T25 this whole time, I want you to choose once during this week. And it may be an extra workout because you don't want to miss your regular one. It might be an extra workout or you might sub one in. Whatever you want to choose is fine at least once this week, I want you to shake it up and do something else. If you've been doing T25, maybe you pick a different beach body workout. If you've been running this whole time and working in ab rip or X, maybe you decide to, to do T25. Do something you have not done at all in this first six weeks of the challenge. Snap a selfie, take a picture, have some way to document it, post it in the gym, tag your coach, use your team hashtag, hashtag, and use the challenge hashtag, shake it up. Simple enough, right? So go out there, have fun with it. You know, maybe you've never taken a yoga class, go take a yoga class. Maybe you've, you've never done a pile, beach body pile. Do beach body pile, B borrow it from a buddy. One great thing to do if you don't have it yet, get beach body on demand free for 30 days and pick one of the other workouts on Beachbody On Demand. Won't cost you a dime and you can try, like, what is there, 2,000 workouts on there, whatever the heck they say. There's a ton of workouts on there. Try Beachbody On Demand and pick one you've never done. Maybe you picked Brazil butt lift. Whatever. Shake it up this week at least once. Document it. Do all the tags you're supposed to do and have fun with it. Have a great week. Stay accountable. Stay motivated. Keep supporting your team. Remember, there's a whole lot of people who care a bunch who wins this challenge. Don't be the team member who's falling off, who's saying, ah, whatever, I'm not gonna do that. It doesn't matter if I score points. Don't be that person. Don't be the person sitting on the bench. Everybody can get in this game all at the same time, but you have to get up off the bench and you have to get yourself into the game. So even if you haven't been, get back in the game. If you've been in the game and you've been doing every challenge, stay focused and stay in the game. Have a great week. Love you guys.